I want you guys to take what I'm about to say very, very serious. I want you to pray about it. I want you to seek God for yourself. One thing I always say almost on every video that I do, seek God for yourself. Don't look to Marcus. Don't take my word for everything. Study to show yourself approved. Pray about everything that I post, that I say, that I preach. Find out for yourself. Get in the Bible for yourself. Develop your own relationship with God. Begin to pray. Begin to fast. Begin to just seek God for yourself. Why? Because I have no desire to deceive anybody. I have no desire, none of that kind of stuff, right? And so I see a lot of people making videos and they use my name because their real intentions are they know if they put my name in something, they're going to get views. Let me tell you something. You'll get a couple of views, right? But if you don't have a real anointing, if you don't have no real substance, that's it. You're going to have your little five, 10 minutes of fame and that's going to be it. So I, I want to say this. Pray about the things that you're saying because the Bible says, touch not my anointed. And I don't say that doing, uh, arrogantly. I know, you know, that God is with me. And I just be seeing people just bold faced lie on God. They say, God gave me this dream. God gave me this vision. God gave me this warning about Marcus Rogers. And then I'll listen to it and I'll watch it. And the stuff they be talking about don't even be based on truth. God is not going to give you a vision or a dream that is based on something that is not even true if you would do your research and get your facts straight. So it's like bold face lying on God. And let me tell you something. We all going to stand before God at the end of the day. And we're gonna, the Bible says we're going to have to give an account for every idle word that is spoken. So all I ask is that you pray and you fast before you make a video saying something crazy because you can curse yourself speaking against the man of God, speaking reckless. And guess what? I watch the video and I say, Lord, forgive them. They don't even know what they're doing. It'd be so off. Now, some people, they're just blatantly trying to use my name for views because they don't have no anointing. And a lot of people can't tell the difference between anointing and talent. And even, you know, they hear good preaching, but it's not anointed preaching. Right. And so they, they, they try to do it, you know, and people, they, they say, because I talk about celebrities and then most of the time you can tell they don't listen to the videos that I'm in the Illuminati. No, if you notice, I'll talk about Cardi B and I back it up with Bible. I talk and, and people click on it. And so my thinking process behind it is that when I say, oh, you know, a lot of Christians, seven ways to pray, seven ways to fast. A lot of people, they don't want to they don't care about that. They don't care about spiritual things. But if you put Cardi B or something like that in the title, people click on it and you can see it gets more views. Or people talk about casting out demons and spiritual warfare. It gets more views. And so I'll get people who are not saved to watch my videos thinking, oh, this is about to be about Cardi B and the Grammys. And then I bring it around to the Bible and I warn them to get right with God. And I tell them to repent. What kind of false prophet you know is telling people to repent, to seek God for themselves, to stop going to watered down churches, gummy bear churches. It, it, it blows my mind how blind people are. They claim to be uh, you know, have a relationship God, relationship with God and be spiritual, but they so deceived. And the Bible talks about this in the last days uh, that they, they will be a uh, great falling away. People will be deceived. People will have itching ears. I preach against sin. I preach against all kinds of stuff. And people will sit there and just bold face line God. And you know, one thing that I notice: most of the people that do it, they don't have no power. They're not casting out devils. They're not out there doing street ministry. Uh, they're not out there taking a bold stand for the things of God or getting that persecution and backlash. They're just running their mouth, running their mouth. I always like I'll go look at most of the people that make videos about me and post about me. And a lot of them just sitting at home, not doing nothing but bold face lying on God. And guess what? That's serious. Even with the Trump stuff, like I told you guys a million times before. People keep trying to twist what said. I said, I felt that this man was going to win because of something that God told me about Firehouse. And some people argued that he won, but the bottom line, he's not in office. And I'm cool with that. I said, look, I was wrong. I prayed to God about it. And that's it. But people tried to twist it and make it into, uh, you know, something else. Number number two, Brother Mark has never called himself a prophet. I don't call myself apostle. I don't call myself prophet. None of that stuff because people just use it and abuse it. Man, it's crazy out here. And so what I tell people is, I tell people this all the time. I say, just pray about it. If you think like uh, there's something funny about, like most of the time when I go look at the comments and I see people like, 
uh, agreeing with certain things. You could tell that they didn't watch the video. They didn't understand the context. Or sometimes it's just too deep for them because everything that I preach and post, everything, every video I could go through here and I can give you Bible that backs up what I'm saying. But a lot of people, they don't know the Bible or they're a watered down Christian or they are something like that or their doctrine is bad or something along the way. And so they get mad at the things that I post. And they want to believe I'm false. A lot of times I find that a lot of people want to believe that I'm false because I'm uh, because they feel convicted. I have a lot of watered down Christians who they live in sin and they live a lifestyle of sin. And, um, you know, uh, once saved, always saved kind of people. You know what I'm saying? That they, they get mad about some of the things that I post, but I could back it up. Bible. But the bottom line is this video is not to even try to defend myself because, you know, uh, when I speak and I had a man of God give me this confirmation the other day, he said, when you speak, not everybody's going to receive you because they're not they're not part of the remnant. They're not uh, part of, you know, who God has called you to. God has called me to a certain type of individual. And I noticed that the people who follow me, they're the ones who are in the streets. They're the ones who are hungry for the things of God. They're the ones that are really trying to see revival. They're the ones that are really trying to see unity in the body of Christ. A lot of people who you know, come at me and uh, make videos about me, oftentimes they're very arrogant people and they think either like they're smart, you know, or they're just super deep, you know, they they got a lot of scripture memorized or something like that. You can see it and you can feel it like if you have any type of discernment and that's the problem. Most people don't have discernment because if you have discernment, you would know, right, that, okay, Brother Marcus might not be perfect. I'm capable of making a mistake. But one thing I'm not is a false uh, teacher or false prophet or whatever. Anybody who uh, can't see that I love the Lord with everything in me, man, they're blind. I I wouldn't even take no. I would I would stop listening to them. There's just there's no way they can have the spirit of God and say that I'm false at the same time. I have I have you guys seen like for example I got on there with Ruslan. Right. And he will never tell you, oh, he's fine. He'll tell you we disagree on some things, but he knows he knows because he knows what he feels. And then we've had certain conversations. He's no he knows I'm not false. Anybody who really has the spirit of God is going to know. And I and you know what? You could take that as arrogant. But all these people making these these videos and stuff, I, I, I'll be like, man, they can't. There's no way they have the spirit of God. There's no way. This is the just uh, some sister made a video said something like God was showing I was in the Illuminati. I'm like, man, they don't even care that they lying on God or either that because, you know, they want to grow their YouTube channel. It's a seducing spirit that comes and puts a lie in their mouth because, you know, they're so thirsty to get followers. It's like, yeah, God told me this. And I know if I use his name, I'm going to get some views. I'm going to tell you what, just really pray about it, because at the end. You're going to have to stand before God. I'm going to have to stand before God. And then we're really going to see what's what when it's all said and done. And that's why I tell people all the time. You, The Bible says you'll know them by their fruit. All right, over here, we casting out devils. We're seeing revival. All glory to God. We're seeing revival. We're seeing souls get saved. We've seen hundreds of people get baptized in Jesus' name. And the ones who be doing all that talking don't be doing nothing. So I would be real careful, real careful. And I would really pray and say, Lord, I might not agree with this man. I might not like this man, but, you know, let me just pray before I speak on certain things. He might make me mad with some of the things he say, but let me be real careful before I, I say something rec reckless or something that'll get me in trouble. And the reason why I could say that so confidently is because I know where God has brought me from and what he's brought me through and what he's brought me to. There's no way, no way I would be where, I'm, where I am today if God wasn't with me. Everything that he's ever told me has come true. Why? Because he clearly is speaking to me. I'm telling you, some of y'all need to repent. Some of y'all need to take them YouTube videos down. But you don't have to listen. Because guess what? The Lord sees and the Lord knows and he's going to deal with it and he's going to handle it. So this is just me, you know, just being kind and uh, just letting you know, just challenging you. Pray about it. Really seek God about it. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's the warning. You don't have to accept it. 
you can leave the videos up. You can keep lying on God. But God is going to deal with it. That's a promise. Love you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged in Jesus' name.